I had no aspirations, no idea that I would be at WrestleMania 39. So just just walking down that the, the stage and everything, it was really surreal. And to do it with two people that I'm so close to or were close to. Um, <laughs> and, I mean, it, it was really fun. And I, and I said to them, I remember saying to them before he went out, Hey, it's a really long ramp and I know we're mad at damage control and we got business to take care of, but like for the first half, can we just have fun and take it in and then we can get serious? And they're like, okay. <laughs> I feel like only I did that though. I'm like walking down being like, oh hell yeah, this is rad. And they're like, we're going to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you say this ranks in all time manias for you? Obviously you've had an incredible career. Tons of huge moments throughout your career, but but being able to to come back after having you know had breaks before, what, how did that feel? Was it any different? Did you pick up right where you left off? I, I mean, I would I would put it at the top, and and here's why. Um, with age comes perspective, and I just feel like I could really be in the moment and soak it in, and just be really appreciative to to be there and to have done it when you when I wasn't looking for it, it was able to give me this really like in the moment sense of appreciation and in a way like I was a fan in the stadium, but I just happened to be walking down the ramp. And so I just really was able to feel in the moment. And not that many of my other mania moments weren't important, but I feel like I kind of got lost in them because I was worried about the next thing, or I was just, I, I was like out of body um, and just able to soak this one in. So look, we, we've talked about the women's revolution, women's wrestling being at an all time high, absolutely mm. crushing the business. We're seeing women main event WrestleMania for the first time. I mean, really, this all started with you, with, with what you were able to bring to the table and the performance that you were be being able to put on and just the passion and energy uh, that you would bring to the ring every single time. Now you're being able to be back in the ring with, with the next generation of women, women who have been able to take this thing to, to even newer heights. How does it feel to be a player coach, like being backstage in the locker room, all of these places, having some of the top champs in recent history coming to you for your advice and asking for your opinion on things? Maybe talk about that player coach aspect right now. Yeah. So it's I mean, it's really like it's poetry, right? You know, to have kind of come up and, and tried to, to push the envelope of, of what a woman's role in this industry looks like. And then to see the fruits of, of that labor and the blood, sweat and tears. And I called it, it's like playtime. I'm like, oh, you like, you know, I we did the work and then you guys took it to the next level. And then to be invited back in to come play with these phenomenal athletes um, with just as much passion, pushing things forward to heights that I did not know were possible, where my favorite thing is that we're running out of boxes to check and and that's the goal right is just we got to start creating boxes and, and to check off and i really love the the dynamic of the the generations and being able to come into to mix you know normally we're uh sitting on the sidelines so to be able to get in there and uh mix it up with god these amazingly talented women is is really um really a a true joy and it was like a bonus present that I didn't know I was going to get when I was pushing so hard and being told no and coming back how about today can I get thrown through a table today can we have a cage match today you know over and over again and finally making some progress and to get in there and I mean with the like EO and Dakota and Bailey are so talented um, I feel like Bailey gets the shine because she's been, you know, she's our homegrown talent come up through NXT, but man, EO and Dakota are so talented and to be in the ring with them, um, it really makes you want to up your game. And I want to do those women proud that have taken the heights so, so high. I want to be able to, uh, to be on their level. I love where I'm at right now because it's like mixing it up with the present and the future but having just been working for the past year on this show uh, which is honoring the past 
and honoring these legends in the industry that came before me um, or or during, you know, we've kind of spanned the, the whole uh, gamut uh, of superstars in this season. And in seeing the connection that the fans have, not only to the superstars, but these moments in history. And we go chasing these moments, um, gear from this a certain event, milk trucks from a certain event, uh, you know, um, these, these moments in history that you remember where you were when you saw them. And in, because of that, because of the family you are sitting around, you will always have these attachments to these superstars. And, and so with Treasures, we were able to go and search the entire country and track down some of the most coveted memorabilia that our uh, fans will know the second you know, they see them. And to have it retold by either the superstars themselves, uh, by where we were when we saw these moments, or the collectors that are, that are, it's really hard a lot of times to get these items back because they're like, no, I, like, this means the world to me. And we're like, but it means the world to so many fans. And like, let, let's put it in a place where fans can appreciate that. So I, I loved these missions, working with Mick and Booker. It was a really great team. I mean, coming to work with those guys and, um, you know, the show went on for seven, eight, eight, nine months. And so, we, you know, we just became such a, a good unit with the crew and the, the players involved. And it was a lot of fun.